welcome to the kitchen at the Blue OK. Today we're making chocolate macaroons. This recipe is a good one to have on hand because you could make it every day. It's, it takes 5-10 minutes and the ingredients are easy to keep on hand. And actually once you kind of get this recipe down, uh, it's a recipe that I often add to to make a kind of superfood energy nugget to take with me if I go hiking or walking or I'm just out and about for the day. I'll often add cayenne or maca or goji berries and make this kind of a little superfood ball to take with me. Uh, but we'll start out with the basic macaroon recipe and you can just kind of go from here with it. So what you're going to do first is take a little bit of cashew, soaked cashew, and put it in your food processor. And I'm going to add a little bit of water to it because we want it to kind of form a little bit of a paste. And that's just going to help the macaroons stay together. And everything else is just what you're used to in a macaroon, coconut, honey, and then for these, since they're chocolate macaroons, a little bit of raw cacao. So pulse this around, see if you can get it a little bit creamy. And it's good to keep a spatula on hand when you're working with your food processor just to kind of push the uh, cashew down into the blender or the food processor towards the blades. So we've got the cashew in there and then I'm just going to add in about half of the coconut, a little bit for the counter, and a little bit of the honey. And I'm going to pulse it again just to get that cashew really well mixed in there. And the cashew is kind of what holds it together. It's, it's optional. You could use tahini instead um, or just blend up your coconut and honey a little bit more to get it to stick together. But I like to use the cashew because it, it gives it a richness. All right, there we go. Now I'm starting to get a little more of the consistency I'm looking for there. All right, and then I'm going to add the rest of the coconut, the vanilla, a little bit of salt, which just helps to bring out, bring all the flavors together, and the raw cacao powder. And it's delicious when you get the cashew blended up with the coconut, the honey, and the raw cacao. It almost makes a cupcake kind of consistency of the chocolate. It gets very rich and almost brownie-like. Very nice. I also like to keep a little agave on hand for this recipe just because once you get the honey mixed in, sometimes you might want a little extra sweetener, sweetener for it. Um, so you just can have it on hand to add if your honey is kind of thick and hard to, hard to work in there. You can also do this in a metal bowl with a whisk. You don't absolutely have to have a food processor for this recipe. If you were to use a whisk for this recipe, I'd recommend tahini instead of the cashews because you would need to get the cashews into a paste, which the food processor helps with. So at this point, I'm just going to taste my batter here. Mm. I love raw cacao, so that tastes just right to me. <clears throat> Set that off to the side, and we're ready to scoop these onto the dehydrator sheets. And this particular batch, because it's uh, thick from the coconut, you don't even need to use the Teflex dehydrator sheet. You can actually just scoop it right on to the screen. And I usually just scoop it into little kind of ball shapes that you usually see a macaroon in. So scoop them out and pop them in the dehydrator. And like I said, once you get this basic recipe down, you can just sort of keep adding things that you, that you like to add. They're kind of a great vehicle for superfoods. They're also delicious just by themselves. And they're easy to keep on hand. I often just keep them around and have one for dessert every night after after my salad in the evening. So I hope that you find this recipe as useful as I do because I use it for all kinds of things. I'm going to put these in the dehydrator and then show you what they look like when they come out because I have a batch already in there. Here's what they look like. Just same thing but just a little bit drier. You can pick them right up 
and you can make them lar on the larger size or really bite size. Kids love these because most kids like coconut and chocolate, so sometimes we'll put little bite-sized ones into lunches, um, and you can break them right open. They're delicious, I promise. And let me know if you have any questions or comments. Leave them right here on the website. Check out some of our other cookie recipes. And remember, the eating gorilla always comes in peace.